Hey guys, it's Dr. Devin Brana, and I just got back from Sedona, Arizona with Dr. Joe Dispenza, and I am mind blown, heart wide open. And I had to pick my top 10 favorites from this last trip because I've been going to Sedona since I was a little girl, and I've gotten so many comments and so many questions about what should I do when I go that I was like, all right, let's throw together this top 10 from this last trip, hand it out to all of you so that you can go because it truly is a little slice of heaven right here on earth. Okay, now our first stop this last trip was at Slide Rock National Park. You have to go. Um, there's a few pictures that you'll see. You have to pay for parking. It's up the mountain a little bit, but totally worth the drive. Make sure and a lot the whole day because you want to get as much out of it as possible and it can be busy, especially during the summer months. So slide rock, slide rock, slide rock. Take the kiddos. This place is like nothing you've ever seen. It is exactly what the name says. You can start up the canyon a little bit and then there are flat, really smooth rocks for you to slide all the way down. It's like and a God made water amusement park and it's amazing. So get in the water, go to Slide Rock and get in the water. Okay, now number two is gonna be the sunsets. Chase the sunsets, you cannot go wrong. I am gonna add a little element of adventure to this one and I want you to go seek it out. So stop at one of the Sedona Visitor Center and go in and say, where's a great place to go see the sunset tonight? And they're gonna tell you where to go. You can do the pink Jeep and they're gonna literally do the driving for you, which is a great option. Um, you can also take a look on the checkout desk of a lot of the stores around Sedona because there's personal guides that for a really affordable price will take you on a private sunset tour. So always just invite little synchronicities to happen in Sedona because that's part of the magic of Sedona. And um, this last time we went down to the Crescent Moon area and it's interesting because I'm used to chasing the sunset where I'm watching the sun fall in front of me. And you see the sun go and it changes all the colors right in front of your eyes. Now, where we were at on the backside of like Cathedral Rock, when the sun set in the other direction, it actually splashed all the colors over on our side of the mountain and it gave me a sunset perspective that I'd never seen. And so you'll see a picture of me kind of up on a tree by myself and then with my girlfriend, Hillary, and it literally took our breaths away just being in the canyon and watching it change colors and um, being on that other side. So be open and be on the lookout because you just, you really can't go wrong. But make sure that you are outdoors and on the lookout at sunset time. Number three is go hiking. Again, the Sedona Visitor Center will give you a handy dandy little map and you can ask like, this is my skill level, this is what I'm looking for and they're gonna highlight for you. Now what I did this time was a little bit easier and it's Fay Canyon. You'll see a little picture of me in my big idea tank top holding up a little heart. It was a smooth and easy road. When it is hot, it's nice because most of it is shaded by trees and there were multiple dogs out and about on the path. There were families, there was even some people that, um, you know, they said that they slow and easy. It's just a very gentle, easy hike that at the end allows you kind of hike upward onto the top of the rock and catch the most beautiful view of this Fay Canyon. Highly recommend it, Fay Canyon. And go get your map so that you can play with it and find your own. And then share it in the comments if you have a favorite canyon. Okay, number four is the stupa. Now, um, I went a few years ago with two of my friends, Dr. Jennifer Kenobi and Dr. Hillary Rowanhorst, and we just randomly met this woman who took us on one of those private tours I was telling you about. And it's just, it's back in this little residential area. I I don't even, I, I that, ah, ah, ah. you see, like, I don't feel like I can put words to what you feel when you walk through there. I do invite you before you go to get some prayer flags to tie up in the trees. You'll understand what I'm talking about when you go and, and let yourself have a moment of prayer and quiet. There's multiple spots for you to sit and just meditate and listen to the birds sing and watch the sun rise. Just make sure the stupa is on your list. Now, this next one is gonna be the same type of thing. I'm gonna leave a lot of it to the experience and just make sure that I add it to your trip itinerary. You've got to go to the Chapel of the Holy Cross up in the rock. This pictures do not even begin to do it justice. It's a little Catholic church going up there. This was one of the first stops I think I ever made to Sedona. I can remember walking up there with my parents. I can remember um, genuflecting and lighting candles and going down in the bookstore. Every time I walk up there, I just start to cry. And then when I go into the actual church itself and light a candle, this last time I went and I lit a candle for my mom and 
tears come from a different place and it's so healing and so special and so gentle i mean it's just it's so beautiful you have to go um look it up make sure that's one of your first stops when you're there so there's a few spots that you should go one of them is the center for the new age i would recommend doing an aura reading with jamie um or getting an angel reading or palm reading with leah leah denmark came and joined us at the big idea last year um she is just a special bright light they have tons of different um intuitives there um people that you can ask more questions about Sedona there's a woman that even teaches a spoon bending class it's also a great place to get different stones or jewelry or cards or art I mean it just kind of has it all and it's in a really cool building um right down in the little roundabout area so center of the new age and then there's also the Sedona Healing Arts. Look for the angel wings out front. There's a the little rock garden. And then the picture that I have, there's a beautiful mural of some gorgeous women along the side that um, they feel angelic to me when I go there. It's just they represent the different colors and personalities and um, gifts and offerings that, that women have in healing throughout the world. And they've got also got lots of little trinkets and then they do massage and acupuncture and they do guided tours as well. So Center of the New Age and Sedona Healing Arts are, I'm going to say my top two for this time. Got to check them out. Now, where do you eat? Okay, so my recommendation for dinner, I'm, I shared a picture because this dinner literally just blew my mind and the food is out of this world um her son her oldest son is her chef in there right now so go by the heartline cafe and get the the steak oh my gosh and the cauliflower and a glass of chardonnay and the desserts and it was all just uh, you got to make time you got to make time for food now this is just a little fun tip i had to share this picture of me in this convertible and there's a story behind this there's always a story behind it but um i got to the car rental in phoenix when we flew in and um, they had run out of the type of the level of car that I had reserved. And so we're walking around. She's like, oh, I'm out of it. We're going to have to walk back up and ask them what they want to do with you. And I see these three convertible Mustangs sitting there. And I was like, so can I just, can I have one of those? And I was kind of halfway, you know, joking. And then I also thought about a mentor of mine, Dr. Steve Hayes, when he was like, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So just ask. So I did. And she was like, you know what? Yeah. You can have that she's like what's your trip and i was like oh i'm here with a girlfriend we're driving down to sedona and she was like well you have to have a convertible and so we got to put the top down and they upgraded us it was dollar rental rentals shout out to dollar for hooking it up and just being super like chill and grateful for you saying yes because i asked the question and so we had a red convertible that we took down and it's like instantaneous freedom to have a convertible so if you're going to go to a beautiful place really wherever you travel to beauties in the details um and so you know always ask the question too you just never know now my last highlight which is the biggest of all the highlights was dr joe dispenza and i put up a little picture um of the seminar itself because there were multiple great speakers and i'm highlighting dr joe because his name he's just been calling to me for a couple of months now and this guy if you don't know his story i'm going to drop a few of his um resources down here he's got a new book out called becoming supernatural he's got some really great meditations that you can check out and um i followed dr joe for a while he was a chiropractor is a chiropractor well i don't think he practices but started out in the chiropractic world and he has a really crazy story which you have to hear from him so i'm going to post that like i said down there also comment um, down in the comments if you've heard Dr. Joe speak or if you've been to one of his seminars because uh, I mean again here I am with going I how do you even describe it you can't this guy is probably one of the best teachers and facilitators I've ever been in the room with which is saying a lot because I study and and go to seminars a lot and he did such an amazing job of not just like teaching the audience, but engaging them and making it all um, flow cohesively and keeping everyone awake and in it and and really charged up but then also very like settled and peaceful when he led the meditation portion but i just had to take a second and go if you do not know who dr joe dispenza is go find out and there's also another seminar opportunity in sedona so you could maximize all of these tips that i just shared with you and check out dr joe i believe it's in october and michael beckwith bruce lipton there's a 
knockout all-star lineup in October. So if your calendar's open, I'm like, even as I say it, I'm like, I'm gonna have to get there. I gotta go back because it's so good. Um, but yeah, I'll share more links to how you can check out Dr. Joe. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Um, that is my top 10. I know it was kind of lengthy, um, but I had to make sure that I gave you as much as possible and there's always so much more. So don't be surprised if there's a Sedona 2.0 on this channel because it is probably my favorite place that I've ever been. If you've been to Sedona and you have something that I didn't talk about, please drop it down in the comments and share it because I would love to go see it if I haven't already experienced it. I love and appreciate you. I'm gonna be taking you all over the world with me and doing these little top 10 so that when you go, you know where to go. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll be seeing you soon.